Jones. Hey everybody, I just want to give everyone a reminder that I will be doing my first live stream to celebrate 300 subs at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. So thank you everybody for your support. Awesome that we got to 300 subs and I will be looking forward to seeing any or all of you at the Q&A tonight at 9 o'clock. Enjoy the story. Friendship. That was the one thing that mattered most to me in my life. Friendship was what allowed me to escape my everyday life, allowed me to be more of myself, and allowed me to escape my awful family. My mother is an alcoholic, my brother abuses me when she isn't looking, and my father left my mother years ago. My mother is unemployed, and both my brother and I work for money we need to buy food and pay for gas for the truck. Every time I would come home, my mother would ask me for money so she could go and get herself something nice, or go and get more eggs. Every time I gave her money, she would come back home, drunk, with a bottle in hand. Every day was the same. That was until I met my friend Casey at the bar I worked at. She took up the job to earn tips while she was in high school so she'd have an easier time paying for her college tuition once she graduated and started going to college. Few people ever understood me or were willing to listen to me and Casey was the only one I had ever met who not only did both of those things, but was able to earn my trust. She was always the friend I could count on to help me keep secrets. During times where I was at my worst and I wanted to just run away or end my own life to escape it all, Casey was the shoulder I would rest my head and cry on. She was, as most people would call her, the dependable one. Others would depend on her for little things like an extra tip or something along those lines, but I depended on her for something bigger than that. I depended on her for emotional security and depended on her as a form of therapy. She helped keep me sane and I helped her wherever I could. She was like a sister to me, but more than that. If I didn't feel so close to her, I would have considered dating her, but I was far too close for that. Yet, it was that closeness that truly made it difficult for me when she was gone. Casey was far too protective of me, and one day, on the way out from work as we walked down to the parking garage where a car was parked, an oncoming bus came bustling in from around the corner. I barely had enough time to react when Casey shoved me out of the way, and the bus slammed straight into her. I was mortified as I fell to the ground. The world seemed to slow down around me as the bus slammed into Casey's soft, young body, pummeling her in an instant and dragging her body underneath the oncoming tires of the bus, ripping tendons and twisting bones as it contorted and warped her body under the tires. I called for an ambulance right after the bus left, not having given a damn about the person they just ran over. She died later that day due to her medical complications. Her ribs had all been shattered, her legs were broken in several places, her blood vessels and arteries were ruptured and parts of her skull had cracked. There was no chance she would have lived, but that wasn't going to stop me from having my friendship. I wasn't afraid of the occult and I was willing to try anything to get my friend back. So I performed a summoning spell. I looked out into the night facing the north out of my window and had a white candle in hand and salt around my body in a circle just for added protection. I then began to chant for spirits to come. Spirits of the night, I beseech thee. I ask for help to come to me. I long for a lost friend by the name of Casey. Her soul left a body rotten in the ground and will be left forgotten without the help of spirits sought and the power they have begotten. For a while there was silence in the air, the dead of night, the slightly warm autumn breeze wafting in to meet my face with its scents. My eyes remained shut the entire time as the air blew by my hair. Then the spirits arrived in many numbers, swirling and shrieking around me. They kept shouting her name, Casey. Casey. They shouted her name over and over again, it tumbling down on me like raging water. But I opened my eyes as the spirits came to a silent stop and stood up as I heard a single voice speak above them. You want Casey back. I can help you with that. I turned around to face him. 
He was a collection of souls flowing around in a liquid mass. He wore a suit and tie and he was faceless. He made it a quick introduction who he was. I am a legion and I am here to make a deal. I was unsure of making a deal with a soul entity but I didn't have much else of a choice. My brother abused me and my mother was a deadbeat alcoholic. I had nowhere else to turn. Yes, I would like to make a deal to be reunited with my friend Casey again. Legion laughed at this remark and delivered his reply. <laughs> that is quite simple, my dear. Just sign this contract and you'll be reunited with Casey. I took up the pen he gave me and signed without hesitation. The deed was done and I was willing to pay up. What do I owe you, Mr. Legion? He laughed once more, then delivered his transaction. <laughs> we are Legion, for we are many, and we are always looking for new members. We will reunite you with your Casey in exchange for your body. You will become one of our many drones and do our bidding as we assemble our armor far and wide. Your soul will be reunited with Casey in exchange for the use of your body. I nearly jumped out of the salt circle I had created to protect myself. Then what will you do if I refuse? Legion leaned forward above the salt circle, bypassing the spiritual barrier and delivered his response. Then... I shall kill you and devour your soul. I never had much else of a choice, so I agreed and stepped out of the circle as that circle would do little now to protect me. Legion possessed me and I have been doing his bidding ever since. On the bright side, when I let him take the wheel, I can be in the ether along with Casey and spend time with her. It's the only thing that makes this existence happy, but it truly is not for everyone. My warning to anyone who wishes to pursue this kind of soul friendship is this. Don't do it unless you have nothing to lose. For once you sign a contract with Legion, you have signed a contract that you can never refuse.